Hello guys, what is going on and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making the A45 AMG or as close as possible. It's going to be very hard because I've heard it's got 415 or rumoured to have 415 brake horsepower out of a 2 litre turbo. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge and we'll like a challenge here on the channel. So let's make an A45 AMG. Now there's no like uh, official way of how it looks as far as I'm aware at the moment. So we're gonna um, we're gonna have to make it up a little bit in terms of like the bumpers. Obviously the headlights and stuff like that we can try and match as close as possible. But everything else is a bit of a wild guess. I've got no idea how the engines might actually. Let me just have a look at the A35 specs. I'll have a look at the old A45 actually. Oh, so that's transverse. And what about the A35, is that transverse as well? Because I know they've changed a lot of it on this one. Yeah, that's also transverse, so I'll go transversely mounted. So, front transverse, McPherson strut and multi-link at the rear, I'm guessing. So it's the wild guess. Although it could be double wishbone. I don't know. I don't know, let's let's research that as well. I should probably research this before I just start absolutely flying off with it. I'm literally wasting so much time trying to look at this. By the looks of it, I've seen a picture um, on the Mercedes website of the A35. And that just looks like it's got a normal McPherson strut. So we're going to go with McPherson strut and put multi-link at the back. It's a very popular setup. So we're going to go with that one. And then we're going to create an inline four made out of aluminium for the block. Uh, now then. Hmm. I'm going to go for the extra little bit of RPM maybe like 7,000, 7,500. I'm pretty sure I'd achieve it anyway with the setup that I had going on. So we'll go with that. Dual overhead cam. Like that. Probably going to need forge because this is going to be running some serious power. We'll go with forged pistons as well. And we're just going to leave the quality as it is for now. Leave all this for now, but put variable valve timing on. Turbo, we're gonna need a big turbo, I need a pretty big intercooler, and gonna leave again that stuff for now. Just see what we're at as a base. Um, don't know whether to go, yeah, we'll go for the upper cylinder for now. We'll just see how it is. Uh, might change that to race, but I'll go performance for now and on 98 just because we need all the um, all the fueling we can get for uh, 415 horsepower. It's a bit of a challenge that. Go 7,500. I'm not sure what the uh, normal limiter is actually on the standard A45. Uh, I'm actually going to bump that up a little bit, a lot of bit. I'm going to bump it up all the way. Um, for the exhaust, we'll go like three inch um, high flow. We're going to go reverse flow straight through. Yeah, we'll do that. Right. So as you can see, power comes in pretty late. It's not a very not very good at the moment basically but we are getting some decent power right off the bat which is good 248 horsepower out of a two litre turbo straight away is not bad going for some reason if you notice here putting up the quality actually makes it cheaper so why not do that i mean it does increase the um the production value and um and engineering time as well but I'm not really focused on that too much on this game because I just want to drive it around BeamNG and just see if it's any good, basically. Um, so, yeah, just to answer your question, if you're wondering, yes, it will be driven around BeamNG. So, we need to make a turbo for this beast now. So, we're going to... I might have to put this back up anyway, but I'm going to shrink the compressor and turbine just to get a bit, of more, bit more power down low. We'll go 55-55 and... Okay, so we can increase this again this is one of those things that just decreases the cost but obviously it goes mental with those two again i'm not too bothered about those because i'm not playing the um, actual sort of tycoon side of it and uh, i think probably best off messing around with the turbo to be honest because this thing is going to need to make some serious boost in order to give us the power that we want so i'm going to start by pushing this up a little bit And then of course I'm going to up the boost by quite a fair amount. So say 15 psi for the moment. Uh, Intercooler is not really doing much. That can just stay as it is for now. Now then, so 
What does this do? So yeah, that does take a little bit of power and even torque. Oh no, no, it just dropped the torque a little bit, which is, I didn't want to drop the torque too much. That's why I was thinking in my head a little bit or hesitated a little bit as I clicked that. Um, but what about race? That's going to give us a bit of power. So yeah, we'll have that. Uh, not too arsed about fuel economy, to be honest. So we can run this a little bit more rich. Probably going to go with something like that. Uh, advance the ignition time in quite a fair amount as well that does increase fuel economy i believe does it yes it does a little bit so okay we're sitting at 320 brake horsepower at the moment and um, all the internals of the engine are pretty good they're all not braking and stuff and um, the con rods are going to break because i'm um, i'm going to envision we're probably going to have more than 288 foot pound of torque so i need to do something about that where are they um Oh, that's decent. So it only costs me like 500 RPM, but I get a load more torque. So I'm going to do that. How much is it for the titanium? Not too much, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that, to be honest. I might just bump it up a little bit. There we are. Just for a bit of an overhead, because obviously 7,800, it is pretty much near the, um, the maximum 7,500 red line. Um, you don't really get any more reliability by putting it to lightweight titanium anyway. Uh, what about that? No, nothing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with that as a setup for now. Uh, again, with all of this, I'm pretty happy with that. What if I click? Oh, mate, we get so much more power just going straight through. And you know what? Cars these days, they're popping and banging. They're going absolutely pure mental. I think I'm just going to leave it straight through, to be honest. We'll just pretend it comes from with a um, sports exhaust system from factory light. You can get on the uh, Golf R's and stuff like that, where you get the, um, I forget what it's called now, but you get that aftermarket exhaust system and it just sounds absolutely mad. Uh, we don't want any, in fact, you know what? I mean, it is going to be like a 2019 performance premium hot hatch. So we're probably going to have a button that opens up the exhaust even more as well. And that's going to bump us up to 360 brake horsepower. That is absolutely savage. So we're nearly there now. To be honest, I didn't expect it to be this quick. I thought we we're going to really have to work to get towards these numbers. So I'm guessing we're probably going to have to really work for this last 55 brake horsepower. Or is it 55? Oh my God, I did quick maths. Yeah, so we're probably really going to have to work for this last 55 brake horsepower. But you know it's going to be um it's going to be worth it so this brings the turbo in earlier which is good so i'm going to i'm literally just going to bump up the quality i know it's going to cost absolute shit loads and the engineering time is going to be absolutely ridiculous but sometimes i just got to do what i got to do and i want a lot more torque than this so i'm going to bump up the boost quite a fair amount as well cuz who doesn't love boost boost is sick So I'm getting pretty close now to the limit of my fuel. So now I'm going to start messing around with this a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. Because obviously we want, we want the power curve to be linear or as linear as possible with a turbocharged engine. Um, so as you can see when the turbo kicks in the power is nice and pretty much linear all the way up until red line. And even the torque doesn't drop off that much either. I mean, it does, I mean, we do lose like 30 foot pound of torque, but it doesn't drop off absolutely shit loads, which is good. Um, I probably could do with, let's have a look. Um, yeah, fuck it, we'll do that, we'll get more power too. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. We're very close to our target now, 408 brake horsepower. This is gonna be unreal, this. And that makes, oh my God, we've just hit our target. Straight away, we've hit the target. Happy days. Still, mm, do I want more torque? Yeah, I, w I do want more torque. I, w I want like 340, I think. I don't even know if it's going to be possible though. Oh, all right. All right, it might be possible, yeah. Maybe it is possible. Let's just cheat a little bit. Okay, so... Fairly rich fuel mixture now, 419 horsepower and 333 pound foot of torque. Let's bump it up some more. There we are. And then, getting even more torque by chucking that down a little bit. I 
think I think I'm happy with that, you know. 417 brake horsepower. I think now, maybe just tweak this a little bit. Because obviously, I mean, to be honest, it's, I don't know. I don't think this is too bad, really. I mean, a lot of turbocharged cars, you just get a massive surge of power. And with this game, there's not... I don't know if there's loads you can actually do about this huge surge of power that we've got at the moment. Um, I mean, yeah, even if I, even if I do that, that like flattens it out a little bit. And we're getting slightly better. Well, actually no, because considering I've raised the torque by 20 foot pounds, we've only gained like five or six foot pounds at the edge um, and obviously we're going to be wanting to rev this out because we've got a lot of power so i really want to try and get that torque to hold a little bit better if possible probably not possible because i obviously with it being a turbocharged engine it's yeah it's just yeah to be honest you know what i am i am actually quite happy with that because obviously with the gearing the gearing is obviously going to be like one of those new DSG style box thing, so it's always going to keep you in the power anyway. So yeah, you know what? I think I'm quite happy with that um, compression ratio. Could I bump that up a little bit? Mm, no, no, yeah, doesn't really do much. That just goes mental when I do that. So yeah, you know what? I think I am actually quite happy with that. I know obviously I could make more power out of it, but the goal was 415 horsepower. I've got 417. I don't need to go too crazy with it. I want to stay around 417. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'm happy with that. We've got plenty of boost, so it is gonna sound sick. Literally gonna sound absolutely unreal. And yeah, I think I think I'm pretty happy with the engine side of things. Um, so now it is time to get on with the design of the vehicle. So this is where I need my trusty pictures. Flare out the arch just a little bit, because obviously it's gonna be a pretty aggressive looking motor. Yeah, it's nice and aggressive that. See, this is a pretty good body shape for this kind of car anyway, because it does sort of, can we mess around with this spot a little bit? No, okay. Yeah, it's a pretty good body shape actually for this, um, for this vehicle. Quite nice. And then the front, the nose of the front, I mean, it's, it's quite like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, there we are. It's sort of like it's sort of like that. It's quite low at the front, and it sort of like arches. I don't, I don't really don't know how to explain it, but hopefully we can make a car that looks remotely like this A45 AMG. I make it look pretty sweet as well. So I think we're going to go for that yellow color they did the A35 in, because that yellow color I am quite a fan of it actually uh, they do a yellow in my car as well and I think it looks absolutely sick I'd never considered a yellow car and never even liked yellow cars before and it looks pretty sick so we'll make it fairly shiny do I want it flaky I don't know I don't know how close I'm gonna get to this color I'd say it's more more orangey if anything okay I'm gonna try that I'll just call it like electric orange. I think, is that what they call the Focus ST orange from back in the day? I think it was. I nearly bought a Focus ST as well. Fun fact. Okay, so I don't know where it is because all now that they've changed. Oh, mate, that does look a bit orange. Now that they've um, changed the factory and stuff, I think all the colours have gone a bit weird. Yeah, it's too flaky, isn't it? Too flaky. Okay, how about that? That looks fairly close to the um, to the Mercedes orange or red or whatever, it, I mean, not red, yellow, uh, whatever it is. So yeah, we'll go with that for now and obviously we'll come back to this. What I will do is this though, um, I'll find where my black is. There we are. God, that looks so much better when it's black. Sick. Okay, so this is where we really get started in this. So, I've got to find a headlight that looks like the A45. I'm probably gonna go with one of these, if I'm honest, one of these custom ones, and custom design the headlights myself, as I think sometimes it works really, really well. Um, could I go with something like that? 
or maybe this and then flip it possibly this possibly that um yeah i think i think that's probably going to be the best one i'm going to try it Sort of does that. Flip that way. Oh, mate. Mate, this is looking good already. You know what? When this, when this first, um, when I first saw this A, a class, I weren't a fan of it at all. Literally, did not like it. But you know what? It, I think with all new cars, it's it's sort of grown on me. I think it's just because it's such a big change. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I need to make sure this hasn't got the glass on it. It hasn't, so that means I can put things inside of it. I never, never can get this thing to work with the glass on it. Yeah, I just can't select the things that I put inside of it. So now we need the um, things, as they're called. And we need to make these bigger. Also gonna put them to the front so it's easier to get to. And then, so the headlight has one of these like um, strips inside of it, like this. And it's at the top. Probably just a little bit thinner actually. All this precise engineering and stuff like that. Maybe just a little bit that way. Okay, so place that at the top like so. And then another one of these but it's a lot shorter and it's actually a bit wider by the looks of the picture as well so man that looks sick already <laughs> literally looks cool already so I need to look into the headlight design a little bit more because that's literally all I can remember. So I'm gonna quickly get up a photo now of the headlights on the new A-Class. Okay, so after doing a little bit of digging around, I have found a bit more, um, bit more of a design. So I see that it's sort of like one of these to begin with like that and then it sort of has like little squares so I'm probably gonna go with these and make them into squares and then I don't know what to do about this dead space probably move this a little bit like that. What is this cover? What does the cover do? Ah, now then, this could be useful. So what does this do? Is this just like get rid of blank space? What's it doing? Oh, mate, that could be good. Mate, yes. This could literally be what I need. No, that looks stupid. That literally looks so stupid. No, I don't quite like that at all. I mean, it looks shit. So, what about? I mean, it looks like on the picture it's got something that goes here, but it, it just looks like normal material. I think it sits on top of the actual headlight itself. So, let me move this up a little bit. I might make these just a little bit smaller. I'll make that one even smaller than the last. Nah, it looks a bit odd now. I think it's because this goes right in. Can I not bring it forward? Nope. Yeah, that light goes right in, whereas these sit like sort of quite on the edge of the headlight. I wonder if. Okay, so, and then, just have this one. What does this look like? It sort of looks like, oops, looks a little bit similar to these. Let's get rid of that for a second. 
Yeah, this looks a bit better. Is it like... Yeah, that looks ten times better. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Fucking hell, mate. Man's stupid. So. Should I put that there? Put that there. Yeah, that was well better. That was better already. And then, with this, it's got some, like, really thin thing that goes, like, around it, almost. Um, so, let's go with that, like that. Another one. I'm literally spending all my time on these headlights. I'm probably literally going to spend more time designing these headlights than I will on the entire car. Crazy, right, isn't it? It's mental. And then, just to be a little bit different, I think, in the corner here. Well, not different. I've seen them on loads of cars, actually. This is if it works. It might not work. Literally just have these as, like, indicators. Or side marker lights. Quite a lot of companies use side marker lights, and then they will work as indicators as well. And it just sort of fills in that like dead space a little bit as well. It looks all right actually. Quite happy with that. Right now I've got to get the right the right one. I think it was this one. Wait, was it? No, I don't think it was. Oh fuck! <laughs> Which headlights did I pick? Yeah, was it that one? I think it was. Oh, mate, please be correct. Oh, fuck, no, it wasn't. Right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, which one was it? I'm sure. Was it not this one? It's literally not that one. Sure it was that one. In fact, you know what? I am very much sure it was that one. And then it changes, so you don't know which one you've just clicked. Is it this one? Yes. Yes, it was. Right, I'm quite happy with that at the moment. So, for now, happy with the headlights. So now, I believe I can start working on the rest of the car. Now, looking at pictures of this car, it's got a pretty simple grill design. And um, I know obviously it's not confirmed or anything like that yet as to what this car's gonna look like, but it sort of looks like this little chappy here. So, I'm gonna go for this one with like the cool little fog lights, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna go with that one. And which grill do I want? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the honeycomb, I think. With the honey, yeah, that looks pretty sick. And this, this grill is literally right on the bottom, and it sort of acts like a little bit of a splitter as well. So I'm just gonna raise this up, make it look more aggressive and all that. Yeah, it sort of acts like a splitter. So it's uh, it's pretty similar to that. It looks a bit chunky and off-roady at the moment, actually. Right, and then I need just the normal looking grill. So I need to find a grill that looks like the Mercedes grill. It could be this one, actually. This one looks pretty much like it. So we've got that one, which probably looks like the most like it so far. Uh, what about that one? No, because it's quite... I don't know how to explain the picture. Yeah, I'd probably say this one. Yeah, that literally looks like it. That's crazy. I'm just try and get it in line with the top of the headlights. There we are. So I've got this bit in line with the headlights and then this bit sort of in line with the, uh, with the bottom of it there. It's not exactly like the Mercedes because the Mercedes does cut off like there. So there's nothing I can do. I don't think anyway about that bit. This is what I've got for the moment. And uh, now then we've got honeycomb, we've got, well, I don't know what that material is. That looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Right. That could be good actually though. Uh, all these materials, I can't actually see them, which is sick. Yeah, you know what? I'll just probably leave that as it is. Oh no, that looks awful. Get rid, fucking hell. What's that? Jesus Christ, that, would, that not the, would that not the standard? Oh, would that the standard one, maybe? No, probably the standard one, wouldn't it? 
This car looks a bit weird actually at the moment. I'm not too happy with it at the front anyway. Um, I might I might get rid of that, you know. I might literally get rid of that. Let me see, have I got anything else? That like, I mean, even if I could piece it together myself, that looks a little bit like it. What's that? No, 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 okay. Could use that uh, a little bit and extend that. I don't know, I don't know. I'm liking it for now, you know. It looks all right. It's just this grill. I want one with the lines that go down because that's what the Mercedes does. So I'm just going to try and find that. Maybe if I find that, it might look more like it, to be honest. See, like this, but only if the um, only if the lines you see going across were going the other way. I wonder if I can change that, though. Is that something I can change? Let me put it up here a second. Right. No. No, it's not going to be able to be changed direction, that. So it has to be this way. Or it has to be that way on there. Let me see, let me see, grill design, grill design, what's that? I can put that upside down, but again, it only goes across and not down. Actually, no, I see something. What's this? Now then. This could be good. Let's go like that. Flip that around the other way. And then we just need a massive badge in the middle of it. So I like this badge the best, you know. So I'm gonna put that so it's on top so you don't get confused because the game likes to do that. A massive, massive badge there, slap bang in the middle. That looks alright, you know. That don't look too bad. Okay, so I think at the moment I'm kinda happy how the front looks. I notice on the bonnet of the um rendered or leaked a35 or a45 sorry whatever it is it's got some like um things on it i don't know how to explain them, like little razors on each side so i'm gonna try and replicate that what is that i literally do not know what that is it looks a bit weird that like that which looks like that but not as high i want it as high as that that's uh yeah, never mind, we won't go with that one. That just looks like someone's plonk Lego on it. What have we got in here? Mix, miscellaneous. What about these? What are these? Ah, so you've got some nice rounded things here. So. I think that's as good as we're going to get for now. I don't think we're going to get any better than that at the moment. Unless I think of something spectacular. Then, I don't know. Also, as well, I've noticed on the um, A45, it has got a little Mercedes badge as well there. I'm not going to bother with that, if I'm honest. I've already got one there. And uh, the, the Mercedes ones are slightly different as well. So, now on to the rest of the car. So, I wonder what is next. Tail lights, isn't it? Tell what's that's going to be next. So, this is the next challenge. Um, I've got to think of some taillights because obviously I don't have modular taillights like I do with the um, with the front. So, I sort of need to think of some headlights that are very similar in shape. Now, these look like they could be, but see the need flipping vertically. And it doesn't. No, no, decided that it doesn't want to do that. Flip vertically. There we are. And then this LED needs to be there. So that's probably not going to work. Or we're just going to have upside down. Um... Oh no, you know what? It might have even been right the first time. But they're sort of like point up like this. Make them a little bit thicker like that. Literally like that. Oops. <laughs> it looks a bit weird on end light, but. Okay, and like, let's make it like that a little bit more. 
shrink it down a little bit. Now it looks a bit weird, yeah. Okay, let's put it that way a bit more. And then, I'm just gonna literally use the keyboard's up arrow just to gently put these up, like literally millimeter by millimeter. And where the fuck have you just gone? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, mate, thank God for that. Right, tick. I'm sure I clicked the tick. You'll be able to see if I didn't click the tick, to be honest. I probably didn't, did I? Let's face it, I'm a bit of a fucking retard. Okay, so. That looks fairly good, actually. I feel like they're probably a bit longer. Although, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know it's got... Yeah, they're definitely coming more. They're definitely coming more. Yeah, you know what? That works a little bit better. It doesn't quite look like the um, the car, but I'm doing the best I've got, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, you know what? I'm fairly happy with that. A little bit, actually. Let me just pop these down a little bit, because I want the line of the boot there to come sort of where, where it sort of changes direction on the lights. You can see with my mouse there. So I want that to be sort of in the middle. And then from that, I can create the little recess for the um, for the license plate. I probably might be able to do it out of this, you know. Give it a try. Shrink it down like so. Okay. Change that. Yeah, it does look a bit daft at the moment, but let's get a license plate in there. Let's go with a good old automation one. Let's put this. I know there's a bit of an issue with the lighting and stuff at the moment. Let's put that there. You know what would be good? And I've never actually tried this. Never tried it, literally, ever. Can we put... You know what's coming, don't you? You literally, you, you know what's coming. Where are we? Is this just one light? Oh, mate, there we are. That's what we need. Can we have number plate lights? Oh, no, we can't get them to face down. I thought maybe they'd go onto, like, the, con like the, the inside of this, but they don't. So, yeah, never mind. That were interesting. That'd be cool if that could happen one day, but understandable if not and all that so let's bring this forward so you can't see that nasty mess in there okay so bring that up just a little bit and then right there is going to be another badge for the car like that are we looking more like the a45 no no we're not <laughs> i think we've got a little bit of work to do on this back bumper because at the moment it just looks stupid but then again I can imagine looking at this photo if the photo I'm looking at now didn't have anything on the back I'm imagining that look a bit stupid too so it's now time for a rear diffuser so we're gonna go with let's see what we've got here so what about with the exhausts and that oh mate that looks nice and aggressive literally looks aggressive just like I wanted it to oh broke it what about that? mate that was looking sick just that change alone has just changed the back end of this car that looks mega and then looking at the thing uh, the picture sorry it sort of like carries on a little bit so I wonder if right what, what are you doing what is that what is that Come on, mate, don't fuck me about with this. Right, we've got some weird thing going off under it. I don't know what it's doing. Come on, don't do this to me. No, it's sort of gone mental there. Right, okay, so maybe try it with a vent or something. Yeah, that looks all right. If you don't look at it too long, <laughs> it looks all right. Okay, and then for this, so what one do I want to use? So that looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's all right. And then these, 
you know, that's, that's all right, that, isn't it? That's looking much better. Now we are missing the carbon fiber spoiler. So we need a carbon fiber spoiler that hopefully doesn't look daft. Right. Oh fuck, what are you doing? Get up there. Right, so. There we are. Yes. So. Carbon fiber, mate, that is looking sick. Please don't spaz out. Please don't go mental. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Right. Oh my days. Look at that. Look at the arse. Look at the arse on that. Jesus Christ. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I need to make some. Um, I don't know what they're called now. Them um, reflective strips. That's what I need to make. I need some of those. So. Look at those from the tail light section and let's have a look which one looks like the one we need. Um, none of them, so oh, wait, actually, bit of an idea. So, it looks like an i30n from behind. See, that's all right, that's not too bad, is it? Really, yeah, happy with that. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks all right, that does. So uh, I need some door handles now. So looking at the door handles, they are circular or oval. The ovals. And they've got one of those things that go straight through the middle of it. So looking at that, I don't have any that match it actually. Don't have any that match it. That's strange. Hmm. Okay, what about if I get a bit creative, so got that. So tip there. Okay, and then what if I get a vent? Make it into a circle. God, this <laughs> the lengths I'm going to here just to put a bit of a motor together <laughs> well, that's not like that. does that work does that look shit what was it that's exactly what I'm after wow <laughs> that's decent I'm happy with that nice okay so all I need to do now is hopefully I get it get it right back here as well there is a bit of a gap actually between to be fair it, the doors on the a45 are slightly different but you don't have this like sort of goes out and comes back in you don't have that on the uh, on the a class so it's a bit harder to um to make a cheeky door for it yeah this is looking um half decent this is i'm happy with that okay so we need some wing mirrors on the job now oh oh man i didn't know you could do that it's news to me Sweet, that's cool. Yeah, so, anyway, apart from me getting distracted by the, literally the stupidest shit. Let's have a look, what mirrors we got? Probably gonna go, they don't look like this at all. Um, they actually come off the car's body and not attached to this little bit there. So, do, oops, I've got this one. That probably looks like it's going to work the best, but I feel like, oh no, they're not even going to be massive. Okay, so, look decent, but they are black. I don't want them to be chrome. I'm scared this black is actually chrome. I hope not, I really do hope. Oh, mate, it does look a bit chromey actually, doesn't it? Can I change it? Please tell me I can change it. Oh my God, why is it greyed out? No way. Okay, so, black. Window trim, black. Yeah, I can't change it. Oh, mate. It'd be good if you could do the roof as well. I really fancy doing the roof black, but that's not gonna happen, is it? So, yeah, could chrome, look at that. Look how, look how dark that is. Yeah, these are chrome, aren't they, I'm afraid. So, anyway, let's click them. Oh, mate, let's have them carbon fiber. Why did I want to do them carbon fiber from outset? 
What am I doing? There we are, it's better, isn't it? Happy days, right, cool, sick. So, please tell me we can put strips on there. Please, please, please. Please, please. Come on. You can do it. Come on, just go on the mirror. Just go on, I dare you. Ah, oh, little bitch. So you won't do it. Oops. Okay, yeah, so it's, uh, it's probably not gonna go on the mirror, which is a shame. But oh well, don't really matter. Still looks half decent anyway. Still happy with it. It doesn't look like an A45, but we can dream, you know. Looks all right. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, see, I wish I could do, oh mate, let's do carbon. A bit of carbon. Now then, that looks all right. I want to get rid of like the plastic on this front on this front bumper. I don't know where that indicator is or that indicator looking colour. Oh no, it's just because yeah, it, it bugs with this one. I've noticed so. That's looking a little bit better. It's all right, I think. It has actually got like a tiny little grill there, so I might integrate that. Is it a little grill or is it? No, it's parking sensors on like um on like a black surround. Never mind, it turns out to be parking sensors that. I think it's this one, I just don't know. Yeah, I love that carbon fiber. Uh, what color is this? Oh, that's the inside of the um, of the light. And I think that's, yeah, that'll be the light as well, won't it? Yeah, okay, so, you know what? Because obviously the daytime running lights and stuff, in my head it's gonna be there. I know it's not actually gonna be there because it only turns on with the entire light, so. Make, oh no, I can't have them orange, fuck that. Just change, change your plan, never mind, they're just staying like that. There we are, happy days. Sick, so. What's this? Oh dear, nope, nope, change, quick, there we are. That's all right for now. Let's chuck a number plate on the front. Listen to me, mate, yeah, coming in front of these. There we are. So, and then what I'm also gonna do as well, just for the, oh my God, what the fuck's that? Can we put that back? Just go away, mate, what the fuck is it? That's a wheel, the hell? I thought, you know what, I found me a parking sensor straight away. <laughs> nah, bro, it's a wheel. Okay, so, parking, oh mate, I don't know what I can use for parking sensors. It was a fuel cap. Well, what like a parking sensor? Look at that, it literally looks like a parking sensor. Let's make it a bit smaller though. And then push it forward. Mirror it. There we go. Have we got parking sensors? Yes, we have, boys. And then on the rear, we have parking sensors across, so. Do the same thing. I've never, I've never actually gone to this much detail before to put parking sensors. There we are. And then put some there. Happy days. That looks sick. You, it's just like a tiny little detail that you, you know, you, it's just like I don't know. It's weird to explain. It's like it, it just adds to it, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I like it anyway. Put the fuel cap. Fuel cap sort of goes across the line of the car a little bit, so we'll do that. I'm sorry, but that spoiler looks epic. Very happy with that. Okay, uh, we've got a bit of detailing that we're missing on this side skirt here. I've got absolutely no idea how I'm going to get that, but what can we do with this? A spoiler. Because spoilers flare out and we want a bit of flare on the arch. Uh, on the side skirt, sorry. And with it being a spoiler, the game might let us hang it off the car a little bit as well just to create some extra flare. It does flare a little bit. Just, mm, I don't know, it, it does, does recess in quite a bit. Let's have a look on 
these do we have something we could use there see it doesn't even have to look exactly like the a45 it could just be a case of where are we all right just similar ish i suppose um even this look just be a case of that across the car carbon fiber carbon fiber again mirror it it could just be something like that as well you know how i feel about that you know but it'll do for so wheels what wheels have we got for this beast i suppose the mercedes wheels are sort of like this they are black so black oh mate here we are this is it this is the finishing touch mate here i'm going to try and get that spoiler a little bit further back as well i think just only a tiny bit though oh fuck you i knew it'd do that. oh shut up mate i knew it'd do that Where's it going? Oh, there we are, okay. Right, it's going further back now. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, mate, yeah. That looks decent, I think. Hopefully it looks as good as it did before. I think it does. Yeah. Mate, these wheels, though. These wheels, bro. Jesus Christ, they look sick. So, I'm going to put a lip on the front splitter. Only a little one. Almost something like this. There we are. Little job on that, won't it? No. There we are. Okay. Makes it a bit more aggressive. Do we have it? Oh, mate. Do we have it? Um, no. Do we have the canards as well? I don't know if I've got canards, actually. And also, for this, do I want it? Oh, mate. Yes, carbon. Yeah. Go as well with the rest of the car, then. Can we have the canards at all? Are they a thing? Um... See, I don't know where the canards are. I don't even know if I've got canards on this game, actually. I suppose I could just get creative and make my own. I mean, I've fucking made the, end, like, the entire rest of the car, so put an old-school turbo badge on it as well. Yeah, okay, I think the best way for me to get canards is to do this. Yes, mate, that looks all right. Okay, happy with that. Yeah, I think. Happy days. Just noticed as well, actually, on the... A45, it has got a parking sensor like literally right there. So let's put another one right there. There we go. Happy days. All right. Okay, so I've also noticed as well in my miscellaneous features, I've got a windscreen wiper, which is decent. I like windscreen wipers, don't we? So I'm going to put some of these bad boys on. Oh, mate, that looks so sick. It's like little details like that, that just look cool. I need one on the back and all, don't I? This video is going to be so long. Yes, mate, there we are. That's decent. Very nice. Can't think of anything else I need to add to this car now. Uh, apart from badges, I'm going to chuck a badge on the back here. That's going to say AMG. I'm just going to go all out, mate, and create the, uh, the little AMG badge. Now then, so... Just looking here. Need, oh shit. Right. Cross. Never mind. So, we need to like skew it. Looks like the Adobe. You got fucking Adobe A45 AMG, bro. Right, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to create it quite so realistically. Some fucking weird animals and that there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to create the badge uh, very realistically. But, you know. Never mind, it's alright. Come on, please look good. Wow, that is massive. That is humongous. Wow, that looks so stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Right, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Can I just make it smaller? Do I have to start again? Mate, oh dear. Right, come on, let's let's get rid of that. Fucking hell. That were a fail, wasn't it? Fail and half. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write AMG first. Is that too big? Mm, still, it, see the thing is, when you get one letter, it doesn't look that big, and then when you put like all the other letters on, it looks absolutely massive. Jesus Christ! Right, so weird. 
Is this going to be our, uh, our little take on the AMG logo? <laughs> I think it is. Don't look too bad. No, wrong letter. Get off, mate. Come on. Don't be a dickhead now. Oh, no. What are you doing? Pack that in. Behave. What is that? What are you jumping for? Ah, fuck it, that'll do. That looks all right. I suppose it could be. Could be way worse. Could be much, much worse. I'm happy with that, you know. I am happy with that. So I think as a motor. This is nearly done. It's going to be all-wheel drive. Oh dear! What's all? What's happening here? What the fuck? Come on! Don't play games with me, mate. Come on! There we go. Happy days. Dual clutch, obviously. You now it's 2019 and all that. Um, do we restrict the car to 155? Would the A45 restricted to 155? I'm sure it was. A lot of cars like to be restricted to 155. Let's copy the gearing, fuck it. In fact, actually, I'm sure they're eight speed anyway, the, uh, the old 845s. Oh no, they are seven speed. Okay, so that'll be our final drive. And then we've just got to work on our spacing. So the first gear is three back. Shall we give it an electric LSD or shall I give it a manual locker and we can have like a little drift button and just literally lock the rear diff when we want to drift. Although I think the, no, you know what? I, I tested this, I forgot to say, I tested this earlier on. I've got like a, a little RS3 lookalike, which I just I created it in my own time, you know. And it worked best with the electric LSD, it just drifted a lot better with the handbrake and stuff. Whereas the manual locker, it'd probably be better for hardcore drifters, but it it's easier to drift. I believe, I think, after my testing with just the electric LSD. So that's what I'm going to keep it at. Uh, I'm going to keep the power distribution 50 50 at the moment. I might change it a little bit, maybe to like 60 40 or something like that. Another 19 inch. No, now they're looking good. Now then, we're going to have vented discs. Don't know how big the, um, the discs are, so I'm just going to go. I'm gonna go four piston because it is a it is a beefy motor. This you know, you know three six five. That's the same as the RS three, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna go vented disc on the rear twin piston, but I'm gonna go I'll go three ten, which again I believe is the same as the RS three. I don't know what piston the uh, brake calipers are, but this shouldn't struggle too much to get us to slow it down. So that is that. Uh, downforce, of course. Uh, I'm going to bump the quality right up. I know it just makes it go pure mental with the build time, but again, I'm not too bothered about the build time. I just want it to be half decent. Uh, we're going to go sport with a premium heads up display because obviously in this car you do get a lot of spec. I know it's weight, but you do get a lot of spec in these kind of cars with these premium art hatchbacks. And I'll bump up the quality again just to lower the weight of it a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you've ever been in an A45, I've never been in an A45 actually. Um, but yeah, if you've ever been in an A45, you know by looking at the inside, they are very sporty inside rather than sort of looking comfortable, if that makes sense. They look sporty and I'm pretty sure they are very comfortable as well, but they look very sporty, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna make it nice and safe, because Mercedes, I'm sure, make very safe motors. Uh, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have semi-active dampers. Um, uh, we're going to tune it for sports, aren't we? Really? Let's face it. Now then, let's make it a tad lower. I don't know, that's all right. It's very, very good wheel arch gap there. Um, the front dampers are hard. Of course, they're going to be hard because it's a fucking monster. That's why. Now then, we haven't got too much roll. Um, I might try and alter the camber a little bit just to bring this up there we are just so it's like in the middle um, 
of understeer and oversteer just so when you're really pushing it it just sticks like shit and then if you hit the handbrake you can just drift around corners um so yeah you know what this is pretty respectable this 34 miles to go that's more than my car my car does about my car will do 32 miles to the gallon on the motorway um, that's the set Leon if you've looked at my other videos but yeah it'll literally do 32 miles to the gallon on the motorway although I did have 42 out of it when it was foggy and I was doing like literally 50 all the way on the motorway for about 30 miles that was uh, that was nice that was a good day um, but yeah I don't like it when it's foggy but other than that this is the A45 um, or my take on it anyway uh, I think you know what I'm quite happy with it I think it looks all right I really do um, let's change those to carbon fiber because I've now figured out that they're chrome aren't they so carbon fiber carbon fiber more carbon fiber more carbon fiber now I might have forgotten to do some other exterior components things carbon fiber but I think for the most part it looks pretty decent so I wish there were a way I could cut this off I really do right I've done it there we are happy days I've got rid of that thing I've put some fuel caps there it probably looks stupid but it serves a purpose it literally serves a purpose there we are I'm happy with that that looks all right it does look a bit daft but if we pretend they're not there it looks better than not having them there if that makes sense that probably does not make sense at all but it looks better than having that stupid gap afterwards and it looks more like an A45 now so, all in all, I'm happy with that. Make the grill a little bit bigger. There we are, that looks better. That looks better. I am happy with that, mate. That, oh, <laughs> mate, that looks sick. I'm happy with that. I need to push them, I need to push them back wheels out a little bit. That looks sick. Mate, I'm so happy with this little creation I've got here. I'm very happy with it. So guys, this has been it for this episode, the design episode. If you want to watch me drive it around in Beam NG, then please like the video. Um, especially if you did like it as well, that would be amazing. I'm going to drive it in Beam NG regardless and record it and upload it, but please like it anyway, because, you know, every little helps and all that. No, what is that? What is that there? What is that? What the fuck? I changed that, man. What the fuck? I might just have to put two exhausts in the little uh, in the little holes. Just had to change it a little bit. It looks a bit more aggressive now, actually. So uh, it's not too bad. But I had a little tailpipe sticking out there, and it looked absolutely ridiculous. So now, I'm just gonna quickly have a look at it. It's always a bit scary watching this. Mate, yes. That looks like an absolute monster. Mate, I am so happy with that. So happy. Off it goes. Off it goes to Beam NG World. Watch the next episode, guys. I'll drive it around the track. Hopefully it's going to be sick.